Question 11. Can you give me an example of a campaign that did not work out as you had planned? Answer. It is important that you are able to recognize why a plan went wrong and to learn from the experience. Your analytical and problem-solving skills are under scrutiny. Campaigns often fail due to poor research and groundwork, inappropriate objectives, or ineffective communication. Be open about why the campaign failed, avoid defensive explanations, take accountability and focus on the steps you took to prevent a repeat experience. Question 12. Tell me how effectively do you think you can work within budgetary constraints? Answer. Interview questions about the future should be brought back to accomplishments of the past. In other words, when asked about how you would deal with possible future scenarios, refer to your past accomplishments. Your answers should focus on successful campaigns with statements such as, While I was with company XYZ, I initiated both low-cost lead generation strategies and several viral marketing campaigns, using an almost inexistent budget to boost profits by 200%. Question 13. Give an example of how you have effectively managed a tight budget to accomplish a marketing activity. Answer. Focus on your planning and organizing skills to get the best return on the marketing budget. Detail what controls were put in place to track and stay on top of expenditure and how plans were adjusted when necessary. Discuss your ability to react quickly and accurately to meet new demands and constraints. Question 14. Tell us what is an example of a marketing tactic that did not succeed? Answer. For interview questions about marketing failures there are several things to note about your answer. Do not get defensive. If you had an expectation that failed, admit it. Explain how you found out it failed using numerical, analytical measurements as examples. Describe the adjustments that you made in order to make the campaign more successful. Question 15. Are you hardworking? Answer. You win an election by consistently outworking your opponent. Ask your potential hire, how many times did you pull an all-nighter or sleep in the office? It shouldn't be every day or you'll have an exhausted team, but any staff are worth his or her salt has made walk books or call sheets all night in order to meet their goals. Question 16. Tell us what are your weaknesses? Answer. Career manuals abound with ways to tackle this question, and most of them seem to suggest that you should take one of your strengths and portray it as a weakness. For instance, I work too much, but this will actually work against rather than work for you because it may imply that you do not organize your workload effectively, or that you have poor time management skills. Instead, opt for a genuine weakness. Question 17. Describe a situation in which an innovative course of action was necessary. Answer. Your ability to evaluate a situation, problem or opportunity and understand the action that needs to be taken is key to success as a marketing manager. Gaining a clear perspective is necessary before deciding on the focus of your innovation. Taking into consideration the available resources and how they can be best used is important in determining the best course of action. Your ability to capitalize on the situation should be highlighted. Question 18. Why did you leave your last job as campaign manager? Answer. You know this question will be asked at some stage, so have your answer ready in advance. The rule of thumb is to always remain positive about your current and previous employers because you never know when your paths may cross again. Besides, who are you going to turn to for a reference? Question 19. What factors do you consider the most important when attempting to influence consumer behavior as campaign manager? Answer. In your marketing manager interview answer show how cultural factors, social factors, personal and psychological factors all impact on consumer behavior. Provide an example of a marketing campaign or project you developed and how you utilized these four key factors to develop and optimize your project. Question 20. If you were a car, tree, animal what would you be? Answer. Baffling though it may seem, some interviewers still insist on asking silly questions, such as if you were a car, what type of car would you be and why? There are no right or wrong answers. 
The interviewer is simply testing your reactions under pressure to see how you will cope with the unexpected in an attempt to gain an insight into your personality and how you view yourself. Don't get hung up on the implications of what type of car you say you would be. Just be mindful that you will be expected to explain your choice.